everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Tama-chan, do you have any plans to go somewhere with your family in the spring? Hmm. We just discussed it, and we're going clamming. What? You're going clamming? Jealous. The last time I went clamming was when I was five years old. I remember it was really fun. <sighs> I wish I could go again. Thinking about it is making me thrilled. Yeah? Was it really that much fun? This is my first time, and now I'm really excited. Say, Maru-chan, why don't you ask your dad to take you? You never know, your dad may like that kind of thing. Well, my dad is, uh... I don't think he has any interest in activities like clamming. Huh? Let's go clamming? No way, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I thought so. I knew you would say that, Dad. Don't waste your energy on trying to convince me. Uh, if I try real hard, I can recall a faint image of my happy memory about clamming when I was five years old. That memory is good enough, then. You don't need to add more images about clamming to your memory. Why don't you memorize something else? It was so much fun. Hey, I found a small clam. I found it. Look, Dad, this is fun. Clamming is just the most fun ever. Uh, recalling it makes me crave clamming even more. Forget it now. Why don't you drop that memory? You see, for me, I hardly have any good memories about it. After our trip, I had awfully bad sore muscles for ages. From my arms to my shoulders and to the neck. And my legs, hips, and even my back. And all I got for that pain was just old seashells. So much pain, I learned a hard lesson about going clamming. Really? I don't remember clamming requiring that much physical labor. It does. I needed to use all my body for it. It's really hard work. I needed to kneel down in order to dig in the sand. It required me to bend my back and force me to strain my legs. It required arms and shoulders. Are you sure? I don't remember having any sore muscles at all. You just don't want to remember how hard it was. That's right. Uh -huh. Baruko, you cried that night and said you had pains all over. Did you forget? I told you so. Look, Maruko, you took a day off from kindergarten the next day because of your sore muscles, don't you remember? Are you sure, Mom? I don't remember it at all. All I remember is clamming was really fun. It must be so great to be a silly kid. You only remember the happy part of memories. Dad, that's a mean remark to make. But why? I only said you remember happy memories. <laughs> oh, as I suspected, it didn't work. It's no use asking Dad about that stuff. I knew it. Oh, I wish my dad were much sweeter than he actually is. And I wish you were good-looking and super-duper rich and much more fashionable. Oh, and way younger, too. Then my terrible life might have been so different. I guess I would have been born much prettier with better genes. Maybe I could have had a dog. I'm home. Look, Uruko, here's a puppy just like I promised. Wow. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> I want to marry you when I get older, Dad. You're the perfect man. <laughs> oh, dear Maru. 
Ruko. <laughs> It's useless. I'll take a bath and go to bed. The next day. Listen up, there will be a physical performance test next Monday. Everyone, please remember to bring your gym clothes to school. Oh, physical performance. Physical performance test, how depressing. Kasugi kun, would you like to practice after school? Zigzag dribble? Huh? A physical performance test? I don't have any confidence about that. Say, Marachan. Huh? About the clowning trip that I'm taking, Naru-chan, would you like to go with us? We're going tomorrow morning. Eh? Huh? Can you? I know it's short notice. You see, my mom can't go with us tomorrow. And it won't be fun if I go with only my dad. So I'm asking you to come with us. Oh, Tama-chan, I'm glad you asked me. You've made me so happy. Hey, how about asking your grandpa to come join us tomorrow as well? Yay, all right! Okay, great, it's all set. I'm going to pick you two up at your house tomorrow in my dad's car. Hey, look, Fujiki-kun. Mm. Kusugi-kun and Yamani-kun are practicing the zigzag dribble. We are witnessing a moment in time where people are making a vain effort to succeed. It's a rare experience. All right, come on, man, let's try again. Grandpa, hey, would you like to come with me to go clamming tomorrow? What? You're going clamming? Tama-chan's dad is picking us up tomorrow morning and taking us by car. So, Grandpa, you don't need to worry about anything for this trip. Oh, is that right? Can you go? Just say you can go with us. Yes, let's go. I don't think I have any previous engagements for tomorrow anyway. But just give me a minute, okay? I'll check my calendar in case I've forgotten something. Oh, no way! I'm supposed to help Grandpa Sasaki plant some young trees along the street all day tomorrow. Forget about it. Just cancel. He'll understand. I guess so. Maruko comes before Grandpa Sasaki. Does Grandpa Sasaki mean anything to them? The next day... Mom, where is our lunchbox? It's on the table, right over there. <laughs> Mom, do we have a rake? I should bring a rake, shouldn't I? Maruku. Huh? I brought a rake for you. Perfect! You are amazing! Mm. My grandpa is so sensible. He's at my side. Yeah, at any time. My grandpa is so sensible. He's at my side. Yeah, at any time. Shooby dooby dooby ba ba ba. Ooh! There is no grandpa like him anywhere in the whole world. He is wonderful, yes. So wonderful. Very reliable. He rushes in so quickly to save me. My grandpa is very reliable. He rushes in so quickly to save me. Shooby dooby dooby ba ba ba. Please do take care of them. Have fun, girls. See you later. <laughs> Tama Chan, let's work hard and dig a lot. Let's do our best. Maruku is really close to Tama Chan, the best friends. At home, I'm the person who is closest to Maruko. I suppose for Maruko, a friend like Tama-chan, who is the same age, is better than this senile old man. 
anyway, Maruko. You got yourself a good friend there. Tamachan is a nice kid. She's really nice. I'm happy for you. So, shall we just leave our things over here? You know, I am happy. Uh, about what? I am very happy that your daughter and my grandchild Maruko are good friends. Thank you very much for that. Thank you for having Tamai. Tears? Uh, no, the pleasure is mine. I mean, my pleasure, really. Well, Tama-chan will also move out someday when she's married to someone. Huh? Tamai getting married? Yes, Tama-chan will get married. It's inevitable for them, isn't it? Uh... You will miss having her around, right? Uh... Well, I've hardly had a chance to think about it yet. Today's clamming may become a good memory for her wedding day. You can use it in the slideshow. Yeah, maybe that's what'll happen. They are playing so innocently now. <laughs> Tamai, I guess you'll wed someday. Your smile that I see every day in the house and take for granted will be gone, and you'll be far away someday. What do you think? Is it sad for you? Uh, yeah. I'm beginning to feel a bit sentimental, you know? Hey, look, guys! Both of you come over here to help us get clams! Yeah, what are you two talking about over here? Is it something important? Oh, it's just about Tama Chad's wedding day. Eh? What? Uh -huh. Those two are completely left in the dark. Well, anyway, let's just forget about that. Focus on clamming with us, okay? We've been digging hard, but we've only found two pieces. Yeah, and we've been working hard for nearly 30 minutes. What? Huh? You've been digging for 30 minutes and you've only got two? That's a bit of a poor outcome, girls. All right, Honami-san. Let's help them out. I think we should. Oh, but wait a minute, please. Oh, good. I'm going to take pictures of today's activity with my camera for her wedding day slideshow. Oh. <laughs> hey, maybe the clams are just very scarce here, or they're gone. It could be. If that's true, it's useless to keep looking for them. Huh? That man is so many. Look at that. So there are clams here. I feel hopeful again. Good. Tamai being hopeful. I got it. Anyway, let's just dig. If we keep digging, we'll definitely find something good. Mm, I think so. Let's keep trying. <laughs> let's do our best to help them. Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> you need to know something else about clamming. That voice belongs to... It couldn't be. Find out in the next part. <laughs> Noguchi-san! Yes, Noguchi is here, and I'm also dressed for the occasion. Look at you, I can see that. You're really into this. Tell me about it. I'm into comedies and clamming. Hey, Noguchi-san, it looks like you're used to going clamming, right? If you know any tricks, will you share them? We've been trying hard for ages, but we hardly have any. Well, there is no trick. All you need is endurance and luck. Luck? Yes. Clamming depends solely on your luck. And if you can spot the place where many clams settle together. Eh? So clams settle together? Then you mean it's no use for us to dig in any other places? It's no use. That would be like digging a well where there is no water. <sighs> digging a well where there's no water. That certainly is useless. Huh? Noguchi san, if you spot a place where there are lots of clams around, can you tell us, please? I beg you, please! No way. <laughs> I will not tell you. <laughs> Noguchi san is. Yeah, she's so cold. Tamai, I took a picture of you being disappointed by your classmate named Noguchi san. A little incident like this could be a nice memory someday. We won't get any clams unless we hit the clam jackpot. But it'll be great if we hit it. Uh -huh. Let's work hard! Yes! Hey, keep trying. Uh, 
Kasugi-kun, you seem very eager. I mean, it seems like you are a different person today. Huh? You're usually an easygoing, lazy, chubby boy. <laughs> I want to leave my image as a simple chubby boy behind. So I will try to do well at tomorrow's physical performance test and surprise everyone. Why don't you try and get rid of your image as a weak boy with a bad digestive system? Get rid of my image as a weak boy? Can I do that? It's very hard to hit the clam jackpot, huh? Mm. It's like treasure hunting with no map. And despite all the hard work, all we can hope for in the end is clams and not treasure. <laughs> it's not worth it, is it? I remember Kosugi told us he would be practicing today for the physical performance test. Maybe that's more meaningful than trying to find clams on the beach like we're doing. Arjun. I'm sorry. I asked you to come clamming with us today and wasted your time. No, no, I didn't mean that. I'm just kidding. It's a joke. Of course, clamming is much more productive than practicing. Marachan, you seem so upset. He's a fool not to come clamming on a fine Sunday like this. Not only that, any person who's practicing for the physical performance test is such a big fool, a big fool! You don't need to protest that much. Am I a big fool? Is it useless to practice so much now? Yamani couldn't ended up leaving earlier. Oh, are you practicing alone? That's great of you. Grandpa Sasaki! That's right. I am Grandpa Sasaki. I've been protecting trees in the town for 30 years now. Tobozo's son of the Sakura family was supposed to help me plant young trees today, but he cancelled on me. Instead, he has gone out clamming with his granddaughter. So what do you think about that? Uh, what I think? What do you think about Tobozo-san going out clamming instead of planting trees here with me today? Uh, uh well, I... I mean... Uh, I think it's bad of him! I mean, he should plant the trees as he promised! You see? You may just be a chubby boy right now, but if you keep working hard, you can be a cool chubby boy. Do you mean that? Well, I am the man who's been protecting our trees for 30 years. I won't tell a lie. Grandpa Sasaki, I'll work hard and become a cool chubby boy. <laughs> Let's go, Kasugi! Hey, Maruko! Come on! What is it? Did you hit the clam jackpot? Did you find us clams? <laughs> a lot. There are a lot here. Come look. Wow, so it's true. So great. <laughs> we got a lot of them, a whole lot. It's like a great dream. <laughs> look at me. I came here to dig clams, but I'm not digging at all. All I do is keep shooting to my... <laughs> I'm actually a terrible photographer. Hey, Dad, stop taking pictures and help us collect clams. Oh, Tamahe Angry looks good, too. <laughs> Look, Tamachan's dad is very devoted. Yeah, for him, the pictures always come first. Grandpa, we should keep on digging up these clams. Hmm. You know, I should give some clams to Sasaki san. See you, Tamachan. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Look, they're all clam dishes! Don't we have too much food, guys? <laughs> yeah, we caught a lot, didn't we? This is less than what we actually got, because Grandpa mm. gave some to mm. Grandpa Sasaki before we came home. Mm. Well, I heard Sasaki-san planted all the trees by himself <laughs> after all. I feel sorry I didn't help him. Uh, by the way, Sasaki-san told me that your classmate, a chubby kid, was practicing alone at school for some, uh, physical performance test. Yeah, that must have been Kosugi. He said he was going to practice for the physical performance test. Really? Practice for the physical performance test? Well, you know, I don't think a couple of days of practice will make any difference when it comes to our physical performance, especially for him. So I think it's smarter to go clamming instead of making a useless effort to improve.
Yeah, that's true in a way. Isn't it? Noguchi-san was there to go clamming as well. All the wise people were clamming because it's a smart thing to do. <laughs> At the same time, Noguchi-san is... I can't tell them. I can never tell them about not hitting the clam jackpot. Although I was dressed like a fisherman, it would be so embarrassing. I can never tell anyone what happened. I will borrow Sakura-san's words. I mean, what kind of person am I? At Tama-chan's house. Sweetie, you need to go to bed. Yep. Honey, why don't you rest as well? Ah, uh, I will after I finish doing some work. Okay, then we'll go to bed first. Don't work too hard, okay, dear? Good night, Dad. Yeah, good night, dear. I'm going to record Tamae's memories now. I've decided to start making her memory book starting today. I'm glad that Maru-chan's grandfather of the Sakura family made me realize an important thing. I should cherish every moment of my days with Tamae since one day she won't be here with me, right, Tamae? So Tamae's father writes Tamae's memories late into the night. Right. I should put that picture in this page. Maruko is asleep. Tamae is asleep. Noguchi is listening to the midnight program on the radio. <laughs> the night goes on peacefully. But in the morning, all the people who had gone clamming on that beautiful Sunday would suffer from severe pains in all their muscles. And that includes Tomozo. Now, it's your time to show your skill in the next episode. Hey, Kasugi, on your feet. The dawn is almost here. Uh, uh.